This is a Ramus one trick. And this is me. No way! So, for the next 10 hours, I'm gonna try to learn Ramus in three steps. First, play some normal games. Second, do some research. And third, play some ranked games. I'm doing this because I'm trying to learn every champion in the game so one day I can make the greatest Viego video ever. And spoiler alert, Ramus feels really broken right now. So how the heck do you even play Ramus? Well, for your runes, it's pretty much just always go after shock and be as tanky as possible. Your build is pretty simple as well, just build Thornmail first and build more tank. Quick note, do not build Frozen Heart. Lowering the enemy's attack speed makes you do less damage because you want the enemy to attack you. And for your boots, you can go any of these, with, in my opinion, Boots of Swiftness being the best overall. My first game started off exactly the way I wanted it to. I did not mean to take the kill, but you know what? A kill is a kill. And then, after a super close gank top lane, the enemy team decided to get some revenge. Just when things looked doomed, the enemy Karthus just stood my ult, taking tons of damage. Then he ran out of mana, so I just killed him. Anyway, after that amazing start, I missed the smite on Baron, and the enemy team stole it. We still ended up winning the fight, though, but I was just totally ready for my team to start flaming me. Oh, nice. With the team morale still high after winning the fight, we went bot and got Dragon Soul. Now, all we gotta do is reset because we're kind of low and we wanna fight together. Okay, that's fine. At least he didn't die. Oh, come on, Jax. If only I had gotten Baron. But it's... Okay. My last game started pretty well, so I'm just gonna do that again. And then again. Well, that's fine. I didn't need Flash anyway. Then we got Dragon. And then the enemy team surrendered in 15 minutes. Game 3 started off with a sick outplay on the enemy Udyr. Oh, get fucked on, idiot! But I think that made Udyr a little bit mad because he got his revenge a little bit later. Then we got a double kill top killing Udyr and Vayne without anyone dying, so it was the perfect time to do grubs. Oh, uh, my Katarina backed and my Vlad wanted to get a plate. Dude, there's no fucking way. There's actually no way. But it's okay. Because my team grouped for Dragon a little bit later. And a little later we grouped Bot again and won a huge team fight. Also, there is no fucking way Katarina is a balanced champion. She dashed six times in like 11 seconds. Anyway, we kept winning fights and eventually got Dragon Soul because I'm a pretty good jungler now. Yeah, after that we just won the game. My next game I decided to try out Ghost, and let's just say I wish I had flashed this game. But it's okay. After clearing my jungle, I used Ghost to gank bot and got my AD carry a kill. And I ganked bot again and got another kill. Honestly, this game was really close until this fight in the bot lane. We had just killed Kha'Zix and Jinx, but the rest of the team arrived and I was sure I was gonna die. Then the rest of my team arrived and saved the day. Oh my god, please let me live! Oh my god! Ah! I'm the best. And after that, we just started winning every fight. Our Riven was smurfing, our Vladimir was super fed, I was doing Ramus things, being completely unkillable, and our bot lane was doing their job. There seemed to be no way we could lose, especially because we were about to get Dragon Soul- Huh. I'm not gonna lie, losing another smite battle made me kind of angry, so I just charged in and killed the enemy Vex in the next fight. Then, when my Q was back up, I charged at the enemy Jinx, and we won the game. After these games, I realized, Ramus is... Okay. So I did some research on YouTube, and here's what I found. 1. Ramus is a counter pick, and you probably shouldn't first pick him every game like I did for 10 hours. If you go against an AP team comp, your life is going to be a living hell. 2. Cut people off with your Q when you gank. Basically, don't just roll right at them because they can outplay you and flash away. What you should do is go behind the enemy so they can't flash away and then collapse on them. 3. Ramus is piss weak early, so people will invade you because your clear is super slow. This means you have to play around your team by ganking more and farming less than other junglers. 4. Sometimes you want to clear 3 camps and then gank. A good strategy is clearing raptors, krugs, and then red, which gives you level 3, and then usually the enemy won't expect an early gank. If it doesn't work, no worries, just go back to clearing your camps. 5. Know your role. Obviously, your engage can be really good, but sometimes you want to use your CC to just peel for your team. For example, if there's a Katarina or a Master Yi that dives into your team, just taunt them so your team can kill them. And with that, on to some ranked games. And after all that research, in my first gank, in my very first ranked game... 
I messed up. A little later, I found myself a little deep behind enemy lines, but it turned out to be okay. because my bot lane was just down to make this aggressive play with me, and it actually ended up working out. But yeah, that was pretty much the only good play we had the entire game. But despite being down 36 to 17, we were actually keeping fights pretty close, never losing hard enough to lose the game or even an inhib. And even in the final fight when the enemy team had Baron, three dragons and twice our kills, it was actually really close. In fact, the only reason we ended up losing was because our volley bear had given up and just refused to fight with us. You can see him recalling during the final fight and then teleporting away at the end of it. Whatever, just one of those games, I guess. Just hope I never see this guy harp tender ever again. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Why am I not surprised? It's fine, I'll just ignore him and play around my bot side and just hope he doesn't rage quit again. You know what, I'm actually having a pretty good feeling about this game. I'm super fed and my volley bear is actually winning lane all of a sudden. Quick side note, but Rammus versus an AD carry is one of the funniest things ever. I actually kind of feel bad for this jinx. This Yasuo, however, I did not feel bad for at all. Anyway, back to the game, I didn't end up needing to do too much. We kind of just got two picks in the mid lane out of nowhere and won the game. I just hope I never see this volley bear ever again. I will say, after playing Rammus for several hours, his playstyle is something I don't know if I like or not. He's a tank jungler, and because of that, you have to play around your team a lot more, which isn't a totally bad thing, it just makes you feel like you have less agency in the game. I mean, so far, I've played Amumu, Nocturne, Hecarim, and Lee Sin, and every single one of them, even Amumu, is pretty good in the 1v1 and feels like they can actually carry a game if you need to. And again, there's nothing wrong with being an unkillable armadillo, but feeling like I absolutely need my team to make anything happen is not a great feeling in solo queue. It just feels so nerve wracking putting your whole faith in your team, which let's be honest, they're probably gonna make a lot of mistakes. But on the flip side, not feeling the pressure to hard carry games is actually really nice because I can just focus on other things in the game, even if you still lose sometimes. But I will say, there are games where you go 9, 5, and 29, and the game still comes down to a base race because you couldn't carry. But frustration aside, this game actually got off to an incredible start. We were winning every fight. With Poppy, Seraphine, Vagar, and Rammus, the enemy team was just not allowed to move in team fights. And I don't know if you can tell, but I was pretty confident this game. I don't care, this fucking hits me. Do it, I dare you. Fuck you guys. Yeah, double kill, bitch. Fucking aced, idiots. Our team was completely locked in and we were playing in perfect sync. I swear, this team was playing so well together, we could have won Worlds or MSI or something, but we had a problem. We were all AP. But it was one of those games where everyone was just having so much fun, we weren't really thinking about the late game. A game where everyone in chat was just having a good time and we all thought this game was just unlosable. Until, out of nowhere, it became very losable when Vagar got caught out and then I died trying to save him. And things got even worse when my whole team overstayed trying to end the game and we all died. And in the end, my team got a pick and just went to end the game while I tried to stop Urgot's split push. And even though it wasn't a close base race, it was still way closer than it should have been. Yeah, I needed a break after that one. And as you can tell by my new shirt, I got on the next day ready to have some fun. Oh my. Oh no, this gank isn't going super well at all, but it's fine. While the enemy team is focused on killing Tom, Kench, and Caitlyn, I'll just flash away. Oh, right. Okay. And even though I was a little angry at myself, I decided to take my anger out on the enemy bot lane, which is totally a healthy thing to do, I'm sure. Honestly, other than the first five minutes this game, it was actually going really well. I mean, just look at how tanky I am and look at my Aatrox's damage, holy shit. And now that we're talking about damage, look at all the damage Kalista is doing to herself by auto attacking me. I'm no AD carry player, but this has to be like the most demoralizing thing in the game, right? Anyway, a little later, the enemy team was doing Baron, so Tom Kench ate Tarek and spit him right in front of my ADC. She got stunned, got killed by Echo, and Tarek made it out alive because Callista had ult. Then we lost the game. Anyway, after seeing how strong my Aatrox was last game, I decided to gank my new Aatrox this game. And because I didn't get a lot of dragons last game, I decided to focus on getting dragons this game. But despite my best efforts, every lane was still losing. But don't worry everyone, everything is gonna be... Okay. You should be dead. Do 
away. And, and when it came down to the last fight, my team came alive. The Shen ult and taunt were amazing, and while I was chasing Kha'Zix, my team was killing the rest of the enemy team, and I was so proud of them. And just like that, we won the game. And with the confidence from my last game, I felt I could do anything. I just needed to believe in myself. This whole time, I've been playing Rammus wrong. I'm not the tank, I'm the freaking carry. Screw everyone else. All the kills are mine. It worked last game, so why wouldn't it work this game? Cannonball! My goodness, Rammus is so fun. His ult is amazing. Now, I know I have missed a lot of smites recently, but if I can get this Dragon Soul, I'm sure we'll just win the game. Nice. My next game started with a bad dive. I accidentally canceled my W by using my Q, which made me less tanky, so I died to tower. Then I jumped into a stupid fight because I didn't want to give up Dragon. I could have just invaded or ganked top or something, but no, I had to 1v4. But after that rough start, I locked back in and started playing around my team. I mean, it definitely helped that the enemy team went in one at a time this fight and we just aced them. After that, it just came down to winning one last fight, which we did pretty easily. We started doing Baron, forced the enemy to come to us, killed them all, and then finished Baron. It wasn't perfect, but hey, a win's a win. My next game, the enemy team went all AD against a Rammus and a Malphite. I'm sure you can guess how this game went. And yeah, even though we lost this early game really hard, I knew that all we had to do was scale, build armor, and we would eventually win the game. At this point, I was on a bit of a win streak, so I continued that momentum by having one of my best games yet. And after ganking top a bunch, Fane got super fed, and as long as we fought around her, there was no way we would lose a fight. Seriously, with my tank, Vayne's damage, and Nami's heal, we had the perfect combo to just win every fight. I mean, we were hard winning this 3v4 even before our AD carry and mid laner showed up. Whatever side of the map Vayne was on, I was also on that side of the map, just to make sure that if a fight broke out, we would win it no matter what. But after this game, disaster struck. It all started when I ganked bot lane and forgot Shen had ult, so he kind of ulted in and killed me. Then the enemy team killed me in my jungle. I had no camps up and no objectives to get, so I just didn't really know what to do right here. And with no map control, things only got worse from there. Yeah, we lost 33 to 16. And my next game, I immediately got invaded again. And because I was frustrated with my jungle getting invaded, I tried to force an objective and I got grubs, but still died. But after that death, I took a deep breath and started playing around my team, so we got Dragon. And to be honest, this game was actually super close until our bot lane got caught out. It looked like the enemy team was just gonna kill all of us and end the game until my Yasuo went crazy, dashing through everyone and saving the entire team fight. But the final team fight was my fault. I wanted to get a big knock up for Yasuo, but I completely missed. Then I panicked, used my taunt on Nunu instead of Nasus, so Nasus just ran at Vayne and killed her, so we lost the fight. And just like that, the game was over. But I couldn't let that be how this challenge ended. I redeemed myself in the next game by hitting a big knockup combo with Yasuo, resulting in a double kill. I was locked in this game and focused on objectives more too. And instead of going too deep in the final team fight, I played smarter. I peeled for my carries and we ultimately won the fight. And with that, I could end the challenge happy. Okay.